Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how we can resize and relocate our chart quickly using BBA. I have created a shortcut key which is Shift Control R to resize and relocate a chart. I'll show you some example here. I have created these two chart. Let's say I want to change the size and the position of this chart. I will select this chart. I'll press Shift Control R and then it will ask me to select the range where you want to place this chart and we will select the range to change the size also. Let's say I want to place this chart here in this range and the size also should be according to this range. So I'll just click on OK. Then you can see the size has been changed of the chart and the position also has been changed according to the selected range. Now I'll show you one more example here. Let's say I have selected this range. Let me highlight this in a color also. Now for this chart, I want to move this position and the size of the chart should be according to this highlighted range means the chart should be over this range and this color should not be visible. So I'll select this chart. I'll press Shift Control R and then here in the selection, I'll select this range. Click on OK. You can see here if I will move this chart manually, then you can see the color is behind this chart. All right. Now I'll tell you one more thing. You can move the chart to another worksheet also. So let's say I have selected this chart. I'll press Shift Control R and then I'll go to the C2. I want to place this chart in this area also. Click on OK. You can see the chart is available here. Similarly, you can move this to the next sheet. I want to create a bigger chart like this. Click on OK. You can see. So this is very useful. I'll tell you how can you create this macro to relocate or resize your chart quickly. So let's start. I'm going to developer tab and visual basic or you can press Alt F11 to open the Visual Basic Editor. Now here this is a small macro which I have written. I'll explain you line by line. First of all, I have taken a variable CST as chart and then here I have used on error resume next. Why I have used, I'll tell you here. Then after using this line, I have set this CST as active chart. So I have used this on error resume nest because you may not have selected any chart in your worksheet then in that case this line will give you the error but when i have used this line which is on error resume next it will not give you the error and here again i have used on error go to zero now here the next line i'm just checking if cst is nothing that means no chart has been selected then it will give you the simple message please select the chart and it will exit this sub procedure all right so this is the validation actually now the next line i have taken dim rng as range and here i have set this rng with a application dot input box in my previous video i have explained you how to use bba dot input box and how to use application dot input box all right, so here we have taken please select the range as a prompt and the title range selection. And as we know for the Excel range, we need to take the type as 8. Here, what we will do, we will take CST. CST means the chart, the active chart or the chart which has been selected dot parent. The parent word we are using because we can resize or relocate the chart object, not the chart. All right. So here we have taken the chart and the chart object is the parent of the chart in VBA. So that is the reason we are using CST dot parent. That means the chart object chart object dot top equal to RNG means range dot top. Similarly, chart parent, which is the chart object dot left equal to RNG dot left. And here we have taken the height and width also. So first of all, what it is doing, it is just changing the size and 
changing the location on the active seat. Till here, the chart is available on the active seat only. Now, using this code, which is CST means the active chart dot location, and here we have taken Excel location as object, and then we have to provide the worksheet name on which worksheet you want to move it as a string. So here, if you will see, we have taken range and we don't have the worksheet name to which worksheet we have to relocate this chart but we have the range of that particular worksheet so worksheet is the parent of range that is the reason we have used rng dot parent dot name whatever is the parent of this range which is the worksheet we have taken the name here right so it will relocate to the that particular worksheet if this selection is on the same worksheet then the worksheet name will be the same right so i have used this code and then once this code is ready then i'll show you how to use the shortcut key you can go to the developer tab and macros and here just select that macro this is the size chart and go to the option you can put your letter here by default it will be blank I just have put R in capital letter. So as soon as I will type R in capital letter, it will show control plus shift plus R. Click on OK. Now, if you will press shift control R, then it is giving me please select the chart because we have not selected any chart. Okay. If I will select this chart, shift control R, then it will ask me to select the range. Let's say I am just selecting this range. Click on OK then you can see the chart has been resized. So that is how you can use this method. It is very useful. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.